Hey, what's going on everyone? Um, it's your boy MTDH and uh, welcome to another exciting tutorial. Um, I know I didn't post something last week and I'm really sorry about that. Um, a lot has been going on if I'm being honest. But yeah, um, this week's tutorial is just going to be the glow effect that you saw or some people call it the scribble effect. But let me not talk too much. Let's jump onto After Effects and get started. You know how we do so i already have after effects opened up um this is what we'll be doing i just created this just really quick um so basically the concept here is let me delete what i had so as you can see i don't have anything uh, this is nice okay so as you can see this is what we'll be working with so ideally when you have your um when you have your video um what you want to do is you already know what you are uh, wherever you want to draw all the animation onto so just duplicate your footage i've duplicated mine i'll rename the other one um glow line okay so now what you want to do with the glow line is you want to double click on it so when you double click on it you'll realize that it goes from the composition layer to the layer the layer then the glow line so the glow line that's because i renamed it, renamed it to glow line so now that you have that portion now so what you want to do is you see here where it says you see it to the top your brush tool you can always press command b or ctrl b for your brush to ball out this is it right at the top here i'll click on it so now when i click on it to my right here you will see um mode channel make sure you keep channel to rgba keep mode to normal the where we'll be changing something is the duration so this duration if you toggle down you will see constant right on uh single frame uh custom so um let me show you what constant does so if you know i already have my brush now um now if i draw something on myself constant it would always be on each frame like that as you can see it doesn't move it's there but the advantage to this i believe you can always um do some sort of animation with it go to brush you can change the stroke as you can see like that you can always animate it if you want but we're not using that so i'll delete that so that's constant and if you want to use right on um i believe right on is pretty cool too so you draw it disappears but see the cool part see that so now if you now play it it would kind of animate out just exactly how you um uh you moved your hand or whatever you know but we're not using that as well i'll delete that so what we'll be using is the single frame which is the most tedious but the most accurate because single frame you have control over each of the frame so what you want to do now is now since we have single frame right here you can see the color picker you can always change to whatever color that you want but i'll keep it at white so for these let us zoom in and don't forget we will be working frame by frame so whatever animation i want to do and another thing is um those of you that will be using mouse um i'll really encourage you if you can get yourself a wacom tab um which is um uh, i'll put um a picture on the screen so you guys can see that um so welcome tab what it helps you with is it's way easier than using a mouse don't call me wrong i'm not saying you can use your mouse but this is just gonna be easier because it's a pen you can um kind of it feels more as an extension of your hand so what we want to do now is i'll draw out on a single frame like that and i'll move to the next frame move to the next frame 
draw my line animation move to the next frame draw another animation line next frame so you just have to like like I said it's a little bit of a tedious one but it, the final result can be really really dope so let's keep drawing like that I might have to forward this so you guys don't get bored and don't forget in case sometimes maybe you miss you don't know what you did for the last frame you can always go back it would always show you every frame you can see right there if I scroll in and out So voila, so I'm done with that. So now we can now leave from the layer mode, go back to your composition. So if I play it back now, watch this. How cool is that? So that's just imagine you now drawing out, you know, just about anything on your footage. And that's basically, all, you know, this all scribble animation thing is um you know you see music video they have like stuff on the faces of the artist or like an x so it's like that's pretty much but to now take it further a little bit and since you already have um the top layer so you pretty much can mess with the top layer add anything to it so for me i like to add um i like to add a blur first I'll do Gaussian blow or Gaussian blow. So Gaussian blow to like five. I'll repeat edges. Oh, another thing I like to do is if you see in the uh, layer style here, right? the mode, I'll change it to add. Actually, don't don't use that, just because I realized that it's hiding the entire the entire uh what's it called it's hiding the entire uh footage on it so what you want to do is you click this paint on transparent so paint on transparent is kind of it's eliminating all the other part of the video so it's only taking the line that you drew so just click on that so now that we had it add it had a little bit of a glow to it then we're now typing glow and mind you I know some of you might be like oh how do I change the color so to change the color I would suggest you could even use something called fill you see that and with fill you can change any color that I want how crazy is this and mind you you can always animate this color so for example let's say here I choose green I move here, I choose pink, this is a different color, yeah, I choose blue, okay, yeah, I choose, oh, I can use black, white, yeah, I choose uh, yellow, yellow yeah use isn't this crazy how you can just pretty much change color to anything that you want because so, don't forget this is animated so this is taking it a step further I'm not sure if I really see this in the videos that I've seen but I mean it's just something that I just thought of now so check that out that is cool that is cool so like i said that was feel then you can add a glow voila so adding a glow to it now gives it that so anyway guys that was 
eat and um i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial i suppose um don't forget subscribe like um if you have any questions you're always free to ask me uh what else what else what else and i'll catch you guys in the next video